In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AWS Certificate Manager to add SSL certificates to a host that your AWS account is hosting. I assume in this video that you have a, a ELB or ALB that's currently listening on an un, uh, unsecure port without SSL. And I also assume that you're using AWS to manage your DNS entries just to speed up the certificate request process. So first, let's find our ALB and make sure that it's configured like I want it to be. So let's go to the EC2 console. Scroll down to load balancers. And here's my load balancer that's running. And if I switch to the listener tab, I can see that it's currently listening on an un, uh, unsecure port HTTP, not HTTPS. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to disable the HTTP and I want to enable HTTPS. So we'll do add listener and I want to change it to secure. <clears throat> now here, AWS has a nice, easy to use way to pull from the, this ACM stands for uh, AWS Certificate Manager. And I will go ahead and use this link to request a new certificate. So what it's done is it's jumped me into the AWS Certificate Manager page right to the request certificate site. And here uh, you need to know the domain that you want to request. But in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and request the star cert so that I can host uh, any number of subdomains off of my main domain. And my main domain is awsvideos.win. And I'll go ahead and say next. Now, I mentioned it earlier in my assumptions. I'm assuming that AWS is managing your DNS entries for this domain, and that's going to allow me to use this DNS validation. You can use email validation as well. It's just going to take a little bit more time. But I'm going to click DNS validation, and I'll, you'll see why. So let's confirm. Now, if I expand this domain, you can see that because AWS is managing my, my domain, I can just quickly use a create route uh, button to do the verification. And this is just making sure that before AWS gives you a certificate for this domain, that you really actually own the domain. Uh, that's a key part of having SSL certificates is trust that you really own it. So let's go ahead and use the shortcut to create the record. And it's showing me that this are basically secrets or you know um, pre-shared secrets that they can use to validate and I'll create to prove that I own the domain and it's great it says it'll take up to 30 minutes for the changes to propagate but things are usually faster than they say they are So it's pending validation, and this is where it would take 30 minutes, but I don't think it will. We'll be back to see it validate. Okay, just a couple minutes later, and uh, the status is now issued. Definitely did not take 30 minutes. So what we're going to do now is go back to the EC2 management console, and we should be able to request or use the cert that we just got. Uh, looks like, oh, there we'll click the refresh button, and you can see that this AWS Videos Win certificate is now uh, available for me. And this particular EOB is hosting an application on the domain hello.aws-videos.win, and so this certificate is going to uh, work perfectly for the domain that's routed to it. And just to be extra secure, we'll use a later version that only allows TLS 1.2. Okay, this is just warning me that my security group for uh, my instances does not allow the listener port, but that's fine. We can, we can uh, edit the security group to allow it. Right now, the inbound 
security rules for my load balancer only allow port 4000 from any port. But what we want to do here is we want to say um, allow HTTPS from any port. Good. Okay, <clears throat> you can see that now it allows HTTPS traffic on port 443. So let's switch back to here. And refresh to check to see that it's happy now. And it's saying now that the error that was previously right here is moved down here because we disabled the, the non-SSL port. And we'll go ahead and we'll remove this listener because we don't want any uh, non-secure communication. Okay, so if everything's worked correctly, we should be able to go to a console and hit a curl, use curl to hit the secure port and uh, it'll work. Let's try it out. Curl, HTTPS, hello, dot, AWS videos, dot win, and we no longer need our port 4000. There you go. We have a certificate serving our subdomain, and the nice thing about this certificate is that because AWS manages it, is it's provided for free as long as the, you pay for the instances that it is serving. So it's great, free security.